I'm going to make for you a delicious breakfast. It's my berry coconut smoothie and it's got everything you need for breakfast. It's a meal in, in a glass um, and it's simple and quick to make so however rushed you are in the morning you can definitely whiz one of these up. The basic smoothie ingredients are your berries, so we've got strawberries, black currants and blueberries today. In the winter when they're not seasonal you could buy frozen berries and they're lovely and ice cold which is great because the smoothie tastes better when it's cold. So your basic recipe would be the berries, the milk, and I'm using coconut milk but if you don't like the idea of coconut milk you could use soya milk or almond milk for example, and a protein powder. So that gives you the protein that you need for breakfast. Um, and today I'm using a soy-based protein powder. And then if you've got time, you can do some interesting additions to your smoothie. For flavour, but also for blood sugar balance, I've got some ground cinnamon. And I'm using a dessert spoon of lovely oil, which is great for the texture of the smoothie, but it's also really good for your immune system and your skin. And we're using ground flax seeds. And to make it ice cold, if, because I'm not using frozen berries, I've got some ice as well to add to it. Okay, so start with the fruit and put that into your blender. This is a particularly powerful blender. And then I'm going to put my coconut milk in. And as I said, you could use any milk you wanted, but I, I love the flavour, the combo of berries with coconut. And I would say about 200 millilitres of milk for one breakfast, if you're not eating anything else and this is your breakfast. And I'm using a soy-based protein powder, but you can get whey protein powder, pea protein powder, hemp protein powder. There's a lot out there in the health food stores. But what you look, what you look for on the label is um, that it provides you with about 20 grams of protein per serving. Because that's a great start to the day. 20 grams of protein is probably for a 60 kilogram person. That's a third of their day's requirements. And then the cinnamon, I'm just sprinkling a little bit in, helps you to respond to insulin more efficiently. So that's good for blood sugar, which means your energy stays nice and stable. And this lovely oil, this precious oil, which you keep in the fridge because it's so fragile, about a dessert spoon. If you could get a dessert spoon of good omega um, mixture of oils into your diet every day. So you can buy oils that are called omega blend, for example. Um, about a dessert spoon a day is really good for your immune system and your skin. In fact, if you start using this oil, people start to comment on how great your skin looks. And always, you know, I love flax seeds, so a couple of spoonfuls of those. They do give the smoothie a slight texture, so if you're worried about that, then use less flax seeds, but I don't mind. And then ice, because smoothies work best when they're ice cold, I think. I don't want one to be kind of blood temperature, that would be quite vaulting the lid on nice and tightly otherwise it might go everywhere and let's whiz it up so if you're really rushing out of the house you could take this in a thermos type cup and take it with you to have on your journey and there's your completely delicious breakfast.